What's up guys, Dylan here, and um, I made a video yesterday morning, um, I made a video yesterday morning, and it was about the update, and um, I forgot, hey, stop, hey, Skittles, stop. Okay, so, anyway, I forgot what it was about, so this one is about the new racks. Put those guys up there so I wouldn't have to have that humongous desk everywhere that was spray painted and dripped with paint. Didn't really fit my style, I guess. Um, so, this is actually, I guess, sort of a tutorial yet showing you what it is and how to make one. Um, if you've never seen this before, it's a snake rack, um, what it is, it's a tub of snakes that you keep snakes in. Um, you can have as many as you want, but alright, now that you know what it is, this is how you make one. Um, you're gonna have to get a shelf. These shelves are from Pure One Import. Um, I got it for free, so I don't really care. You don't, I recommend not getting them from Pure One Import, because they're expensive as all hell. But, um, just find, like, any shelf, any size is actually good, but you gotta make sure that, um, yeah, I'll demonstrate what, what I mean by this. Like, you have to demonstrate that the tubs will be tight. Like, this is one shelf, right here. This this top looks like a shelf, but it's not a shelf. Well, it is, but I put it on top of there. So when you start, you want to get one shelf. So anyway, you can start. I usually start from the bottom, but I start from the top. I don't know why. So just get one shelf, any height you want, and then you're gonna get one of the other shelves. Put it on top of here. Make sure it fits really good. Um, and push it down a little bit, and then glue it. See that glue, but you see it. This is glued on there, so they can't get out. But it's a drawer, sort of, so you can open and close it. But before you even um, do that, actually, it doesn't really matter because I'll show you. Um, back there is all heat tape, and what heat tape is? What heat tape is is um, this little box from Zoomed. It says heat cable actually on it, and it's yellow and red. You get it at PetSmart. Um, that's where I got mine. It's kind of expensive. I think it's like fifteen or sixteen dollars. Um, well, it's expensive to me compared to this whole rack, which I got for like six dollars, cause paint and everything. But make a crazy pattern behind it, behind that, like on the back of the, like back there. Um. Like, where, you, where are the tubs going to go in front of it? Um, it depends on how many rows of, like, crazy patterns. Like, say if you did it like this. It's hard to explain. Um, if you did it, like, turn my, like, fingers of wire. If you did it like that. And stopped at that. That would be perfect for, like, a corn snake. Because it gets maybe, like, 80 or something. But um, I did a lot. If you saw that, I did a lot of heat cable. Um wiring in the back. I use at least four feet of it. Because this is for my Kenyan Samboas and they like it hot. So that's what you gotta do. You can do it any way you want and test it out. Obviously you can see I have a thermometer here which is eighty three point seven. It's supposed to be ninety but um what's it called? He cables off right now. So that's why it's like that. It's hot in here, I know. But anyway um that's what you want to do. And, like I said, this is for canyon sand boas, but, I mean, you can make it differently. But, also, for the key cable, when you make a crazy pattern, you obviously have to tape it or glue it. I do not recommend gluing it. Um, yeah, it can be really bad. So, what I use is this, which is electrical tape. Sorry, I'm sick. <coughs> so. After you use that, you just tape it on the back. You also use heat tape, but um, I don't really use that. 
so yeah, that's why I just use heat cable. Um, yeah, like I said one more time, this is for Kenyan Sambos. So um, you gotta be very careful that you won't. If let's like, say if you have a ball python, they don't like it that hot. And cord sinks, they pretty much live outside where I live. I live in New Jersey, so it's pretty cold. And they live out there. You can, I can go outside and flip over a rock, and you'll you'll sure as find one. That's in my backyard. So and it gets like 30 degrees here, so they don't like it that hot. But in the summertime, if you're breeding, you should raise it up. Raise up the heat to maybe about like 70, 80. Max, not like 90 to 95. That'll just destroy them. So, this is a, another shelf that I didn't finish yet. I just did this one. Um, I started doing the racks today. And this rack is for my females. This one's for the males. This one um, is pretty much for supplies right now because we don't have that many tubs. I have about like 10 tubs, but they're not big enough for females because this is pretty much for males and hatchlings pretty much. So either I might get a new bigger rack or put this one like like it's like that. I'll put it like that. So you could put long ones in there. But it might be kind of big, but you know, they won't be stressed. So that is the rack thing um pretty much um well, well that's pretty much like what you want to do to build it but for the tubs if you notice these air holes i'll keep that in there for ventilation they don't like humidity so i have a lot of those holes all the way around but you don't want to do it on the corner not you know like just doing a hand wave thing Pretty cool. Young bearded dragons do that. If I see you do it again, I'll show you guys. Um, but those are my leather backs I just showed you. Anyway, so um, you heat up your screwdriver, you like like with a stove, and then you puncture holes. You don't want to jab it with just a regular screwdriver. Trust me on this. I've cracked so many. It's not even a joke. Um. Yeah, so don't just jab it in there and think you're going to do it really quick. And I've always learned that the quick way is not the easy way. Because I made this rock wall back there. It took about three weeks. And I'm not even kidding. You can build it in seconds. But it would fall apart. So you got to take the long way, usually. So pretty much on here is we have four or five rocks. Down there is my mealworm stash. Um, I'll do a video on that, I guess, later. Um, that's pretty much it, guys. Um, he's just chilling there. So, that's pretty much it on the racks, guys. I didn't miss anything, so that's pretty much all you need to do. But you always want one of these. You always want one of these thermometers, or thermostats, whatever you call it. Yeah, digital thermometer. I mean, it's, it's like $10, but, I mean, you gotta lose money to make money. That's what I always say, but, um, that's pretty much what you need for a rack, especially that, um, so you don't kill anything. And then, if you have a high quality, like, I'm just talking about pythons here, like a pied or something, you won't kill it. Oh, like if you have a pied or a nice spider or something, or if you have... If you don't know what a snow is, a snow, um, Kenyan Samboa, or any, any snake, actually, um, they will not do good. So, well, to me, every snake is valuable, because they can make you money, and they're good pets. Um, yeah, let's get off that. Okay, so, I'm just gonna put it on her and see if she does it. That hand wave thing, I, I don't, I forgot what that meant. So, I haven't had juveniles in a long time. All I have is those guys back there. She's so retarded. And then the males and hatchlings and all that stuff. Alright. Yeah, so I think that's it, guys. Um, um, these are the big guys. 
I don't know what she's doing. Um, that's the hide I made. But that's pretty much it on the rack, guys. Comment, rate, subscribe. Have a good Christmas, and I'll make a new video on the Mewarms. Bye.